Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the Futurama episode Stench and Stenchability. This episode is about when Zoidberg meets a alien woman from an online site. They go on a date, but then this alien woman rejects Zoidberg. And of course, poor Zoidberg is sad. So then Zoidberg dates this girl named Marianne who works at the flower stand. And it turns out that the relationship is going great, despite Zoidberg having that awful smell. But it turns out that Marianne can't smell anything. And uh, Zoidberg feels bad that she can't smell because she really wants to smell things just like everyone else. So even if it means their relationship being over and ruined, Zoidberg was willing to give her a new nose and the ability for her to smell. Meanwhile, there's this subplot with Bender entering this tap dancing contest, but he's in a rivalry with this young little girl with a heart condition, and Bender tries to sabotage that little girl, but things backfire when that little girl turns out to sabotage Bender. This episode is fantastic. This is, in my opinion, one of the best episodes of the season. I just loved every moment of this episode. The main plot and the subplot, they were both very well written. They were both very entertaining. I thought the main plot was very sweet. I thought Zoidberg and Marianne, they had really good chemistry. I thought it was very cute and I'm glad that Zoidberg found love because Zoidberg needed that certain special someone, and with this series coming to an end, it's nice to see Zoidberg find love, and it was just adorable. I was into the storyline the whole time. It was funny, it was sweet, and then the subplot was just downright hilarious. I really enjoyed Bender's rivalry with this young little girl when he tries to sabotage her, but things don't work out as planned, and this little girl turns out to sabotage Bender and everyone thinks that she's just a sweet little girl when she's actually very evil and tries to hurt Bender. I thought that was hilarious. I was cracking up with the subplot. The main plot of course was funny too, but with the subplot I just found myself dying laughing so hard to the point where tears were actually coming out of my eyes because I was actually laughing that hard. The subplot was funny as hell in my opinion. It was well written, it was very creative, have no problems with stench and stenchability at all. I love the main plot so much, I love the subplot so much as well. I love what happened at the ending of the main plot. I don't want to spoil what happened, but all I can say is that the twist that happens at the end of the main plot, it was funny, I didn't expect that to be honest, and Let's just say it was a happy ending for Zoidberg. That's all I could say about the ending. And I just love that the writers really went with that route. And I bought into it. The subplot and how that ended as well was hilarious. So it's edited very well. It is paced very well. I have no flaws with this episode. I love it so much. Great main plot. Great subplot. Just a great episode overall and I'm giving stench and stenchability a 10 out of 10. It was amazing. I love it. Subscribe, like and share, follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, comment your opinion on this Futurama episode. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!